With the so, Order of Blitz. Exactly. So I feel like the draft so far for Ultra Ego are pretty good. We'll have to look at the last pick, though. Oh, wow. This is dangerous because Rockheart, they're closing in their draft, the last two picks, with their frontliners. Yeah. Tigreal. They're putting it all in. Tigreal again, man. Oh, no. Let's go. This is from yesterday. One more offlaner that can kind of survive against a Lapu Lapu or a, uh, or a Yuzhong. It's Your an Esmeralda. That's a great picking. one. That's a great, a very clean draft, I would say, for Alter Ego. Now for Genflix Arrowwolf, we still need someone who can do damage from a long distance. Someone who can do a little bit of burst. Need a support. Need a support. Farsa can kind of be an option, but... Kadita though. Kadita though. Kadita is also a very much Indonesia it's in special. It's in the cards. It's in the cards. So, you still got some options if you're Genflix Arrowwolf. You're not that bad. Although, I really do like Drop here for Alter Ego so far. Yeah, even if it is the close up for Alter Ego, and given that Jetpack Arrow still has the um, last pick advantage, it's still a solid lineup. Even with the Alter, uh, even with the Tigreal. Rock, yeah, are you yeah. not a Tigreal believer? Farsa, there you go. Oh, that's, that's fine. It is absolutely fine, right? This is this is all good and done. There you go. Ahmad on the Harif and Udil on the Luna. Oh, you're right. Perfectly planned out and. It's an even matchup. I would say it's an, it's pretty even. Although, there's no doubt about it. There's a lot more firepower on Alter Ego side so yep. far. Yep, and now that they picked up, uh, they showed us who their frontliners are. I think their um, potential to invade, yep. and their potential to choke out the purple from, uh, from Bottle looks more likely. It looks very much possible now. Not with the first three, but now with the last two, yes. So... Somehow, Genflix Arrowwolf were able to round out their composition with something that can really tie them together. Someone who can do some damage from the back line. Although I have to emphasize, it's not as strong as a Harif and a Luna in terms of early to mid game power. Scaling wise, right? Scaling wise, if you beat down on a Farsa, as we saw in the first series of the yes. day, Black Five International, the they tried to play Farsa, the but there is an Smash answer. Them. Ladies and gentlemen, always going to be an answer. Here we go for the last series Welcome for today to in Indonesian 1v1, Jetflix Airwolf versus Alter Ego. Technically a 5v5. A 5v5, rather. <laughs> but it's a it's a head to head. There, yes. That's what I was thinking about. Yes. An Indonesian head to head. There Words. Words, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for that. Here we go. In mid, it's going to be a three man formation for Alter Ego while Genflix favors the 1 2 2. Interesting. Fredo already rotating so soon. Playing like a Hilda. Catch the reveal. Already stepping in. Mars uses the Cyclone I.O. Oh, no. First Knocking up Fredo. That first blood drawn by Udil. See what I'm talking about? This is exactly what we're saying. This is a Lunox that usually is put on the side lane to try Ooh. to slow it down, try to absorb it. But no, at level 1, they want to fight right away. And they get results right after that. I like it. I'm buying it. Especially with Impure Rage. You're able to make the most of the uh, kit that you get after the levels. Yeah. You know, it's like a free item. Oh, weird, weird flicker there for Leo Murphy. But again, it is enough to save Udo at least. Friends out the opposition, <laughs> they were kind of surprised there. Oh, random tiger! Uh -huh. <laughs> random tiger on our face. This is mind games. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't really gonna do anything. Yeah. He just basically scared off the mid lane for Genflix Arrow Wolf. Yeah, so no tricky engages for AE as he's coming off of their tank for the next two minutes or so. Now check this out. Pi might be in trouble. Fredo goes in. Rockheart, this is a rotating Akai, if ever I've seen one. Really quickly rotating. I would not be surprised if we saw Rapid Boots mm. on this one later on. He's full of doubles, triples. Now in he goes. Leo Murphy knocking up the Panda. Oh, he's got in between four members. There he goes. Bottle is looking like he's gonna take it, but it goes to Rinaz. That's going to be one for non Rinazmi on the Lapu Lapu, showing us exactly what the rework for the Filipino champ, uh, what the Filipino, uh, how do you say? Uh, National hero. Yeah, island protector. That's what yeah. I'm looking for. Yeah, this guy is just absolutely bonkers, right? In Chieftain's Rage in multiple targets. That's what we're looking for. Ch Chieftain. I was looking for the word yeah. Chieftain. So if you go for ultimate on a multiple target, it just does a lot of damage. And we saw that here. Now the level fours are very close. Leo Murphy, they have just like arrows. Have to be careful here. Uh huh. And this is what we're talking about, right? The way that Fredo plays on their on the tanks that he picks up, it's just too aggressive. Sometimes it's 
too aggressive that it 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 looks like it has some power, but it's only level three Akai. So he plays it like he has an Aura game. That's already oh, nice engage here by Leo Murphy. They're gonna get the double. They give it over to Sally Boy, and Mars can only watch. Battle does not have enough energy to engage, ladies and gentlemen. Off of Leo Murphy's single full combo, they get a two for none, converting into this turtle. And this is why they are just so scared. They, this is why they are so aggressive in picking up Tigreal in the region. They just do a lot with it, and Celeboy Boy almost losing out the turtle there, but will be securing it for Alter Ego. Ladies and gentlemen, Alter Ego are growing a disadvantage now at about 2,000. Their gold lead under four minutes. I'm feeling for Fredo here. I think Fredo is pulling doubles, triples because of how much he's spending time to just to watch people yeah. get taken down. He has rapid boots, so he really he's moving really quickly. That's that's just it, right? So let's see if there's gonna be anything big happening here. I don't think so. Amado wants to fight. He is in a position to go for it. Zaman's force can still be used here, but they're trying to save it. They cast it out right now. There it is. Renazmi engages. There's the better air strike by Clay. Tempest the blades onto the Harrod. They pass it over to Clay, taking down Ahmad. Leo Murphy is in trouble. Will they force the issue? No, they won't. They'll get some free He's baiting hits it out. onto this outer turret energy shield. And now Ooh, Odell there. is part of the party. Hello, says the Lunox, taking down the Lapu Lapu. Renazmi, this is coming. What an aggressive play there for Leo Murphy again. He just he knew that Udo was on the way. That's why even though he was super duper low, he still stayed under nearby the tower, knowing that if there was a dive that was happening, that was gonna be so bad. It's a good thing that Gen Genflix Arrowwolf were able to read into that a little bit. They only lost one guy, but still could have been worse. Uh-huh. One guy is, is at most, especially in a an early game that's chess like, just like this. Pretty uh, big. It's, it's very important, especially that it's the Lapu Lapu. It's Rinazmi. He needs to scale up. He needs to get stacks on his Festival of Blood. And of course, Ahmad is the one that he took down, which means that's even you know less farming time for a very critical carry mm -hmm. outside of Alter Ego. Yep, that's the swap right now. You see Udil take bottom lane. This is a four-man rotation from Alter Ego and Fredo knows better. He knows, hey, let's, let's, let's get out of here. But, because look at Pi. Soon. What is Pi doing so far back? He's leaving off of the Elaine. What's, yeah, Mars, that's, is just, Mars is just taking advantage. That is a little bit... I'm wondering why as well, but look at this right now. Arrowwolf, they're trying to zone out. Ooh, Hurricane Dance by Fredo. He's too low to keep it on. Down goes Clay. That's Ahmad taking the kill. Rinazmi goes down as well. Sally Boy, it's a three for none. The turtle stands, but they get the revenge kill. The big black dragon from Leo behind. Murphy wants Mars. to push. Oh, Leo Murphy misses. He misses. The dash. Udil though rains down the chaos bolts. Leo Murphy styling and profiling underneath the turret. They convert right here, right now. At the price of Sally Boy, I think it's worth it. She says, does it even matter that my, I miss on the push? If As long as Udil is there, we still got it. We still got darkening here. Mm -hmm. And again, just flexing each and every time he can. Just trying to bait out the mind games from Jens Lake's Arrow Wolf. Rockheart, I love the evolution of our metagame. From the recent 131 of all the buffs go to one person. Now the buffs go to like three or four different people in your team. So many different ways that you can utilize the buff. And they're using it right now. Fredo though goes for Hurricane Dance. Pi using Purify to get out of the way. And I think that the aggression of Genflix Airwolf is just getting answered each and every time. Mm -hmm. The counter go potential from AE. There's the Falling Star Moon. Alter Ego here, I was just saying. Ahmad! Hold up! Can they catch him? No, there is no Hurricane Dance, but it's not gonna be needed! A blast from downtown. Clay helped secure it for Mars. Now here's another big team fight. Fredo gets pushed into the bush, which is going to be to their detriment. They miss out. Yep, and they basically just force out the flicker out of Fredo, which is absolutely fine. Now the bottom lane turret is going to be answered by Genflix Airwolf. Bottle at least getting good farm, despite not being able to contribute to the, the fights. Kudos to uh, what uh, Bottle is doing, because arguably, and I think you'll agree with me, Rockheart, Alter Ego is winning. It, this is Alter Ego's game so far. That's and correct. If That's you correct. are on the back so foot, far. as the link instead of forcing on team fights, what you do with your mobility is you split push. Yep, and get some advantages, you know? 
If you're not gonna win the other team fights, might as well get some gold around the map. Leo Murphy in the middle of everything, pushes on oh, Fredo. Gets three, there's the hurricane dance, but he's taking too much damage. The implosion Whoa. takes down the Akai and the Lapu Lapu. It's Sally Boy. Some blades, but it's not gonna save you. In goes Sally Boy with the dashes. It's a three for none. Alter Ego have taken Genflix to the corner, pushing them up against it, and Clay says, They're not uh, done! Uh, they got one more! Underneath the turret, they get one more, and Pi from the back lines going to steal this buff, choking out Genflix arrow wolf. No mercy whatsoever from Alter Ego. Multiple lane pushes at the same time. I like that. And then it's really working out so far for Alter Ego. They can keep going here. Oh, wow. Converting from a steal into a turret. They're leaving Turtle open. I think they should still go take it. Yeah, go give it to Sally Boy. Give it to Ahmad at this point. Anyone, Sally. anyone is just happy to have yeah. it. Yeah, Leo Sally. Murphy. Give it to Leo Murphy. I give don't it know. to Leo Murphy. He can probably do something about it, right? I mean, that's just how confident these guys are playing right now. And even more coming in down from Jeff with Arrow. They're not gonna answer for nothing. Speaking. Taking out. Leo Murphy. Speaking of Leo Murphy, I think he was caught out uh, a little too far. Yeah, a little bit too much. Too deep. A little bit too much. The, thing, the, the fact that Fredo did not even have to use his flicker to catch him off guard just shows that Leo Murphy was way out of position. Yeah, maybe overconfidence might start kicking in here for Alter Ego, but you know what? They built up quite an amount in the bank. Almost 7,000 in favor of the blue side. And Genflix, Airwolf, being stuck on the defensive for quite some time now. Hmm, I'm guessing that it's come to the point, ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching um, relative uh, first part of late game here, that Genflix, Arrowwolf, Rockheart, I feel like, oh no, boy. they haven't been choosing their targets right, but it's come to the point that it doesn't even matter. Alter, you could just say, um, take that one out. Yeah, and Sally Boy, Udil connection, the combo with these guys is just, no one can withstand that. Imagine you got Chaos targeting, you got Chaos both coming into you, and then you got a, a Brody, like, just like, take me already. Yeah, no need for, no need for CC. Yeah, just no all need. The damage. Now, Bottle goes ahead, dashes out of the way, I believe, after one more wave, this turret in mid should be going down, while Pi just keeps on working. working Pi is just so consistent, day. man. He's zero, 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 and he just focused on the lane. He doesn't care. He's just gonna get some gold. He's just gonna get some attention. They go to run it. Oh no, Big Team Fight coming in. Down goes Clay, and here comes the Cavalry. In mid, they finally shut down Selly Boy. But after that, what comes next? Mars here in half dragon form is gonna lose this duel against two. It's the Leo Murphy and Udil combo. Pi initiating this All fight onto Fredo underneath the base. They'll take bottom lane as well. Rockheart, where's Bottle? He's on his way home. He's on his way home. He might be too late. Inhibitor turrets are going down. And the minions are here. Zaman Force underneath, Fredo, Hurricane Dance. This is a hurricane dance of despair if ever I've seen one, and it might not be enough. Clay popping oh. the feathered airstrike to clear the waves, and just like that, they get to breathe a sigh of relief. Right on time, though, but again, it's very, very close to the end. Two inhibitor turrets down for Genflix Airwolf. Imagine if Clay was late by just a few seconds, Alter Ego might have just target locked onto the base, and that could have been it. But again, the timing just doesn't work, doesn't work out for Alter Ego. They'll be forced to play for more. Okay, back to back, signs of life for Genflix Arrowwolf. They do get their own purple, giving it over to Clay. They were able to defend, and if I'm not mistaken, they get to keep top lane. Yeah, that's true. They still keep that turret on the top. 11,000 gold lead, though, for Alter Ego. That is actually a little bit of significant amount at 11 Huge. minutes in the game. Going on to 12. They're eyeing the Lord, probably. And looking for Clay is what they want. Oh, Lord is enhanced, ladies and gentlemen. It's gone gold, and now I think Clay is in trouble. Pi coming in. There's a falling star moon. Already used the flicker. Takes down on the air. That's Farsa down, man. That is huge. And this could be big. Here we go. Top lane inhibitor turret is still holding on. No minions means that Alter Ego can't really push. Is this the right call, Rockheart? Do they just force the issue here? The I Lord think so. Standing. They're missing one defender. There's a Tempest of Blades being popped by Bottle. They're coming in. Black Dragon Form. Fredo destroyed by Sunny Boy. They're still here. They're still standing. 
but that's right. He knocks me down, and that's the base following up. Alter Ego takes game number one in under 15 minutes. That's the quality, man. That's the quality that we're talking about between Indonesian teams. They are fast, they are furious, and they are here to win. And that makes sense why uh, in our power rankings, RRQ Hoshi stands on top. That's right, I mean, this is just one small sample size of what Indonesia can actually do here in this tournament.